Hi, Dee's fans. It's Thursday, September 24th, and we just got done watching Dee's, and I am starting, you're, you're not going to believe this, but I am starting to have hope for Stefano and Kate. I want them to make it. I want them to be that couple that nobody ever thinks is going to work out. Did anybody ever watch Another World when good, decent Rachel, you know, she was, her uh, precious Mac had died, and Somewhere along the line, she turned to Carl Hutchins, who was at one point as bad as Stefano, I think. And they ended up making it work, and Carl kind of turned good. And wouldn't that be cool if, like, Stefano became, like, the next Sean Brady or Tom Horton or something? Everybody loves an underdog on a soap. Yeah. It's, like, the most unlikely scenario to actually happen always sells well. So, you know, they're... There is a chance that they could uh, write it, but I'm glad they did bust up the marriage. You know that would have been the easy the way. The, the, yeah, I keep on saying marriage, the, the wedding. Um, I'm starting to see less and less of that. You know, we were trying to figure out what the last wedding bust up yeah, was, and I had to go all the way back to uh, Sammy and Austin, yeah, and Jennifer and, and Frankie. Uh, Frankie. Remember when when uh, Sammy got the call, call off the wedding, or I'll tell him everything you did. And so she dumped Austin, didn't go down the aisle. That was the. Okay, I don't remember that, but, um, so yeah, they're starting to do a lot less of those, um, like they could have busted up Lucas and Chloe, oh, that would have been an God, obvious yeah. one, um, or and EJ, EJ and, and Nicole. Nicole, I mean, I thought that was going to be busted up, it was, yeah. it was so close to being busted up. I just thought that was going to be too obvious if they busted them up. It's just, it's too easy. Let's talk about EJ and Nicole real quick, um. I think Mia is going to fess up to Chad, Big time. and That's Chad big. is going to go scurrying over to Europe and demand to see his baby, and and Nicole's going to have no choice but to be like, listen, you loser, it's not even yours, so go be gone. Your baby's dead. Oh, to Will? No, to, to Chad the dad. It's not even yours. Yeah. Well, she's going to lie to him. No, what do you mean? No, it's not his. It's because she switched the freaking name. Oh, oh, Nicole's going to say this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, Chad's a nice guy. And I think Mia's starting to see that. And, yeah. Um, she doesn't really have, he didn't really do anything bad to her. No, he just got into drugs. He and wasn't that's into why drugs. when you're in high school, you don't date a druggie. Oh, he's not a druggie. Or whatever he was doing. Anyway. Anywho, so speaking of... Lucas back on the wagon he had to get his stomach pumped embarrass Will in front of his friend Maggie's on the scene I wonder if he's going to take Maggie back now he doesn't do a good drunk mm -mm. impersonation no I thought that was a piss poor um you know oh I'm trying to think of another word for drunk intoxication uh acting job so mm -hmm. not really feeling it um anyway so let's talk about Meredith. Oh yeah, that's the good cool, stuff. Cool. Yeah. So I'm thinking whatever happened to Emily Hudson, Meredith had to do it in her cuckoo mind. She's putting it all off on Rafe because she's got a few screws loose up there. Yeah, we still don't know all the details of that. It's a bit of a mystery. Yeah. So she's got him all tied up in the closet of some storage room or something. I mean, we don't even know that Emily is dead. It could all be part of the yeah. witness protection program. Like we strongly believe. Yes, and and uh, Meredith thinks that she's dead because wait, Rafe has to pretend to protect her in the program. Right, right. So that's that's a very likely scenario. So here, you know, Emily's probably going to come to his rescue and be, you know, then she'll probably die because. She's out of the program, and then Rafe will die because you know, Meredith's some nutcase, and Sammy will be all alone, and go become a nun. It's such a crazy nut. So, the wedding. Uh, I mean, did you think Philip was going to bust it up? Did you think he was going to shout out something? It didn't go down. I don't know, but I thought that it was touching that um, Kate and Theo had their little moment. Oh, she's the new autism whisperer. Yeah. To take place of Max. Um, first of all, wouldn't you have a little bubbling something for the little kid, ginger ale something? But he didn't want it. He wanted champagne. Well, they didn't even get a man juice for him because he wanted the bubbles. Oh. So yeah. they got him some ginger ale or something. It was. They did this all in a hurry. Yeah, well, I would have thought a little Theo. Yeah. 
You mean Kate's grandson? Yeah, so I thought when she said we're friends now, I thought friends, we're his new Grammy. So is Stefano going to get the do her? I mean, she basically said don't even think about no, it. No, she didn't. She said you better put another bottle on ice. I'm going to need it. Yeah, well. So what does he have in his mind? Um, you know, it's they're not married until it's consummated. Yeah, they're going to go upstairs, believe you me. And Remember when she needed the money for... Um, yeah, she wrote him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what else happened? Brady and um, Ariana kind of had a little... Oh, yeah. There's ...make some... peace moment. She... So she knows about the miscarriage. Yeah, it's, well, because Brady told her, and she's going to confront him tomorrow. And now... Brady's starting to talk about this miscarriage to Sammy. He didn't say who, yeah, but when... my friend had a miscarriage. But when, um, when, um, Rafe comes and tells her Nicole had a miscarriage, she's going to be like, whoa. Brady knew that. Mm. Brady knows something here. So that should be interesting. Yep. And Brady and Sammy had a little touching brother-sister moment. <clears throat> But they're not, I always get that confused. They don't share they're any... They're step-siblings. Yes, completely. They don't share any parents. But they lived in, their their parents were married for like a million years. Yeah. So they're considered step-siblings. It's a bond. Okay. Live with it. Yeah. Baby right. and I get confused because we both are a rare entity that both of our parents have been married for like three million years. Yeah, it certainly reduces the complexity in the family tree. Yeah, our kids get, like, dipped out of grandparents. Like, some of our kids' <laughs> friends have, like, eight grandparents. <laughs> our kids only have got four. Quality, <laughs> not quantity, I guess. All right, so the um, couple that... So I what about the previews? I talked about the previews. There's the miscarriage. Oh. There's the... Was there Emily, or uh, Meredith stuff? I don't know. Anyway. What else? There wasn't really a lot. It was most about the wedding, so. Yeah. It was some good stuff. Yeah. I'm looking forward to Friday. Friday's always usually pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to, I want to try to post Lickety Slick this weekend. Sometimes we keep you hanging over the weekend, but I want to get it on there. All right. The couple that watches stays together. Stays together.